let's take a look at survey feedback. The Survey Research Center's goal is to create a hub for social science research, specifically with survey research expertise. The center aimed to focus on larger projects of significant importance beyond a single organization and to share its results publicly. One such project that met these criteria was a survey feedback project at Detroit Edison. From 1948 to 1950, the survey of 8,000 employees and managers was administered to understand perceptions, opinions, and attitudes about a variety of aspects of the company, such as career progression and the work environment. The researchers sought to understand not only how employees at Detroit Edison felt about the organization, but also how the results of this project could be used to understand, instigate, and lead change in other organizations. Some of the objectives include developing an understanding of the problems to improve relationships, identifying factors that affected the extent of the change, and developing working hypothesis for later. Following the initial data collection, feedback was given to leaders and organizational members about survey results. At each level, the data relevant to that specific group was discussed. The researchers observed that this series of feedback meetings had a very positive influence on initiating and leading change in the organization, but they had been unable to substantiate this observation with data. In 1950, that changed with a second study conducted at the same eight departments as the first survey. In four departments, managers developed action planning programs that differed significantly from one another. Almost two years after the programs were initiated, a third survey was conducted in 1952 to compare the data for groups that had taken significant action and those who had taken no action. The researchers found that among the groups that had taken actions, employees reported a positive change in perceptions about their jobs, their supervisors, and the work environment compared to groups that had taken no action. The change was even stronger in groups that involved all levels of employees in the action planning process. Action research is the underlying philosophy of the majority of OD work, particularly survey feedback. 